better than books. You'll see. My next guest is a financial reporter on CNBC. Please welcome, she's called the Street Sweetie, Erin Burnett. There is a lot to talk about, especially today uh, with the markets. But the first thing, I'm almost embarrassed to say it, but your nickname is the Street Sweetie. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, your coworker, uh, Maria uh, Bartiromo, is known as the Money Honey. And I think it's, am I right? It's 2008. How are people getting away with this still? Like, hey there, sweetie. Hey there, honey. How are you? Come over here and sit down and we'll chat. You know, it it seems from another era. It sort of does, although they don't usually greet us on the street that way. They sort of, uh, just a little joke, I think. Right, right, right. So you're okay with you it. You say, it hey, look, you. you know, at least I have a moniker. There's something to that. Right, right. Well, I have a moniker, too. <laughs> 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 Mr. Sex. Uh, it's the beard. It's the beard. Uh, let's talk about uh, what's going on today. We have to address that first. Market down some, what, 300 points last time I checked? Mm-hmm. I just stopped looking at a certain point. Uh, my money's all in a coffee can somewhere, so... <laughs> And there's not a lot of it, but I, so I, I'm not concerned. But w- tell us, w- what's going on? People are worried about recession, really, is what it comes down to. Right. And the market, you know, I mean, we started hearing about this last summer, right? Housing prices falling, mortgage problems. Market sort of ignored it. As a matter of fact, we had an all-time high in October. Right. And then uh, we sort of fell off a cliff. We're down 1,000 points, Conan, since January 1st. Okay. Well, there's uh, something actually coinciding, I think, with the beginning of the writer's strike and the market falling. You think the writers did this? <laughs> <laughs> this is the writers who did this. That's all they need right now is to be responsible for this drop for the in the stock market. market. Right. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Maybe, maybe I won't go that far. Also, the spread of the plague in the Middle Ages, I think. <laughs> it's been traced to head of the WGA. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to ask you about something. Uh, I check out Jim Cramer from time to time, that very excitable uh, gentleman. Uh, talks about stocks, money, uh, financial uh, advice. Yeah. Jim Cramer had a nervous breakdown on television. And uh, some people might think it's a joke, but it, looked, it was insane. And mm-hmm. I think it was real. You were there for it. You were the only person sharing the camera with him when he had this breakdown. Let's take a look and then we'll talk about it. He has no idea. Kramer. I have talked to the heads of almost every single one of these firms in the last 72 hours, and he has no idea what it's like out there. None! And Bill Poole has no idea what it's like out there. My people have been in this game for 25 years, and they are losing their jobs, and these firms are going to go out of business, and he's nuts! They're nuts! They know nothing! Kramer. <laughs> now... I want to first compliment you. I think you had the only possible reaction to that. I thought you were which, going to compliment me in the draft dress. Oh, the dress which is was... beautiful. No, but I, I, you know, I, I think you handled it very well, which is when you're in a room with an insane uh, bear who's frothing at the mouth and ripping at meat, you need to stand still and smile. Uh, I think you did the right thing. Were you scared while that was going I, I, on? You know, I was very nervous. Yeah. I, I called Jim the CCHG which is the crazy curly-haired genius. Right. He doesn't have a lot of hair, but the hair that he has is very curly. And right. he is a stock genius, but he's crazy. Right. Certifiably. And, 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 he, and that wasn't an act. He really was flipping out in that moment. Yeah, he was. And you know what doesn't show up there? Because CNBC hasn't invested in HD. Or, well, I guess they have. They won't like me to say that. But it's not really prominent yet. Right. It was the spit and the snot. <laughs> spit? And mucus it was were flying. Right around here. I remember when it hit. Right. Oh, he hit you with it. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. Snow. You should have a salad spit guard between you and Jim Cramer yes. at all times, mm-hmm. I would think. Yeah. I have learned. I actually have my own technique for dealing with him. He was on the show, what was it, just like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago. And this is what I did with, with Jim. Because he, and this was real, he started to lose it and I was prepared. Take a look. Yeah. So I mean, it may have been completely crazy and nuts, but everything I said came true. All right, stop, ye- stop yelling at me. Everything came true. Don't yell at oh, me. Sorry, sorry. Don't yell at me. I was having a lot of with the yelling thing. Do not yell at me. Do not yell at me on my own show. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing that's real. Can I borrow that foghorn? Sure, you can have that. The other thing is when you saw him pull something out of his pocket, we, we cut away with those were pills. He started showing me all yeah, these no. crazy pills that I think he wanted me to take so I would be as crazy as him on the air. <laughs> I love that he's on television. Yeah. Uh, That's why I said certifiable. It's, yes, not, yes. it's not making it up here. He is a madman. Um, you, a little bit of a controversy for you. Uh, not too long ago, you called our president, our commander in chief. And yeah, it was all lighthearted. You weren't trying to make a point, but you're, you're on TV a lot. You have a lot of time to cover. 
and it sort of slipped out. You called President Bush a monkey. You said President Bush is a monkey. Is that true? It's true. How did that happen? I can't say it's not true. The Pe tape is out there. It's, I, I, people it was... look to you for financial news, sober. You're supposed to be impartial, and suddenly you're calling the commander in chief a monkey. Well, it was in the morning. I was sober mm -hmm. uh, on, a, on a certain level. But when, you me... when you have to point <laughs> that out, it's a problem. <laughs> Uh, yes, it was a problem. I yeah. had to. I had to call in the White House. I had to apologize. But but let me just say did what you really? it was. You, you did I did. Yeah, yeah. I did apologize. I, I meant it as a joke, actually, because you mm -hmm. know he was walking next to the President of France, President right. Sarkozy, who obviously is very attractive, not just to Carla Bruni, but even Rudy Giuliani has talked about a man crush on Sarkozy. So I was just talking about who I thought was you better looking. French, you like those French guys, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> still here. <laughs> Sort. That's not doing anything for you, is it? I keep <laughs> eating the damn mustache. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, we actually looked into it. It was for you a slip of the tongue, but we looked into it, and uh, there are similarities. Take a look at it. Yes, there, there is. <laughs> I'm just saying, there are chimp like similarities. I mean, I mean they're supposed to just. <laughs> get you in trouble all over again. Yeah. Uh, street signs and squawk on the street air weekdays on CNBC. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all going very well for you. Thanks. I know you're very busy, but thanks for making time for us. You know, I was us. nervous. Can I say when I came here? Why I was, was so that? nervous that I forgot to pay for my dress. People may have seen it when I walked out. I have the security. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. The yep. little security thing mm -hmm. right there. How did you get out without the alarm going off? Uh, well, I guess uh, that goes to show you if uh, we are in a recession, just take the clothes. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sound financial advice from Aaron Burnett. Steal it if you have to. Aaron Burnett, thank you very much. You were great. Thanks All for doing right. that. Yeah, good having you, Louis the 14th coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Everybody, we're back. Fine show tonight. Coming up uh, tomorrow night, uh, it's gonna be fun. The lead singer of Poison and star of VH1's Rock of Love 2, Brett Michaels is gonna be here. He picked the love of his life last season and now he's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> that man is a genius. <laughs> You're the one I wanna be with forever. Final episode. All new season, picks new chick. Uh, from the New York Giants, uh, linebacker Antonio Pierce is going to be with us. That'll be cool. Good luck to you. And uh, musical guest Lisa Loeb will be here. That's going to be a great show. Take a little break when we come back. Louis the Fourteenth. We'll see you in a second. Hey, Ladies and gentlemen, on January 28th, my next guest will release their new album, Slick Dogs and Ponies. And tomorrow night, they'll be appearing at the Electric Factory in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Louis the 14th. Thanks for coming back. Great to see you again. Thanks for doing it. Excellent. I'm liking it. Louis the 14th, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. Everybody, that is our show. We want to thank all my guests. Chaz Palminteri, good man to come by. Our thanks to uh, Aaron Burnett for stopping in as the country goes in the toilet. And uh, Louis XIV, they were fantastic. Our thanks to them. Right over there, Max Weinberg and the seven Max Weinberg sevens. Stay tuned for Last Call with Carson Daly. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>